starting uh, dangerous. You're in trouble. Uh, You're in trouble. <laughs> precedent. You're yes. setting a dangerous precedent. Are you done with it? See? Oh. It's pathetic. Very fresh lobster came from the pond. Can you split the checks for us? Is that possible? What I know it is. What do the mole beans and quesadillas? Fajitas. Good for you. I haven't had fajitas in a long time. I haven't had fajitas. Your taste wasn't excellent. Mm -hmm. well, it's become nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at the, uh, the mountainside now. This is Mexico. This is a beautiful cactus farm for tequila. Tequila, anybody? Here's the mountains in the vicinity, a little lake here. You do some horseback riding in this ranch. And you can have a meal outside, or you can have your meal inside, like they're doing. Hey, guys. Mexico's paradise here. This is one of the scenes is the... Do you have any uh, history on the uh, age of these rocks, George? Uh, since the beginning of time. Or thereabouts, huh? Uh, maybe 20 years plus or minus. Agua. Agua. Give me some water. Agua. Hola. Mama. Hola. Mama. Hola. Mama. Hola. Hola. Fleas. Shaking his fleas at you. Hello. Agua. Agua caliente. Tequila! This is uh, thousands of years of this river running down to the ocean. Smoothed off these rocks beautifully. And this is Chico's Paradise. There's the scene we just saw, and that's their logo. Typical store. Clerk is watching. Cartoons over there. The guys are going to town. They're uh, getting the slats ready to put a new slats, and then they'll put a new thatched roof on this structure here. Great big structure. You can see the thatched roof centerpiece up there. This is the El Dorito restaurant. We are in Punta Mita, and we're at the end of the. Banderas Bay. Going to have. Uh, what are we going to have? Here? Not having turtle soup. We're going to have lobster. Two, about six ounce lobster tails. About a pound, pound and a quarter of lobster. And here's our little group. This is the presentation of materials. And this is where we're eating, it's underneath these thatch roofs. Just the beach is right in front of us, about 25 feet or so. And this is another view of the next door restaurant and beach and whale watching boats and fishing boats and all kinds of stuff here. Here's the Punta Mita Lighthouse. The wind is picking up a little bit. Some of the breakers, beach looking to the south now. No whales today. You getting serious yet? I think she just made a deal. Yeah, Got a deal here, huh? More neck, ne uh, not necklaces, eyeglass holders. Eyeglass necklace things. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Oh. Oh. Wow. Smile. Here comes our, our lobsters are coming here. Two lobster dinners. Quick. Pat's got her. What did you get, Pat? What are you eating? Fish tacos. Fish tacos. Huh? Yeah, look at the tail at the end. Oh. Huh. And George, what are you having? I'm having a fish fillet El Diablo. Oh, look at that. La Diablo or El Diablo? Very nice. Well. La Diablo. Here comes mine. Okay. Gracias, señor. You have a plate for garbage? <laughs> Extra plate. Uh, in Los Angeles. And where are you? California Pizza Company. <laughs> California. 
We're having a California pizza here. Yeah. Pizza, kitchen, kitchen pizza, whatever it's called. That's where we are. We're memorizing this because we have four hours to kill. So, by the time we're done, we know all the stuff. And we don't leave until, what, 10? 10 10.30. 10.30. It's now 6.39, yeah, right? It's, or 6.59. Well, it's 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. We have another three and a half hours to go before we leave. Uh, we haven't taken movies for a month since the L.A. airport, so I thought I'd scan. Here's a typical hamburger afternoon for GF. Jennifer and Lucas just left for uh, some auction or some antique stuff. Here's what our back porch looks like. Nice pansies. Beautiful flowers. We're working out here in the backyard. I'm putting a new trench in there. Try to get some of our runoff water down out of here. And Folk is putting in some hostas in that area where she just dug up some grass. And the flowers and bushes are starting to come alive. And I better go get my hamburger. Anything for dinner tonight, dear? Mm. One of our favorites, right? Mm. Looking forward to that. I'm waiting for the, you take take the take the lid off the pot so I can get a, a view a close up of the mool. The lid is going to go. The pot is going to go all in here. Look at these mool. Oh, you have to wait until I'm ready to do this stuff. You are. Something's wrong with the color on this. Okay, that's our mool dinner. I don't think we're eating it all, do we? The last time we did, so. We we pick out on this stuff. Good, baby. Doing a nice job with our cooking here. Our mool. Your nice kitchen and our new dishwasher and all that stuff. What was sort of the uh, the main subject? Just I can't tell you. No, I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> what was the assignment? What was the to do an intake interview? Intake, in, intake interview for an insane asylum? What? One of their clients. Uh, for us to practice and take interviewing. I understand practice, but the role play was. I don't know how to tell you. I, I, you know, I, I had this camera out, and I've taken no movies since Mexico. And I want to get you guys before you move out, well, so we, nice. I have it's proof that you lived here. Nice. You what? Just right when we woke up. Yeah, that's the way. This is the natural look. Jennifer's hiding. Lucas isn't ashamed. Why are you ashamed? To do a 45 to 60 minute inter intake interview to a third or fourth year student who is role playing one of their real clients. And, where, and where does she have real clients? In her practicum. And, and you'll have a, a clients assigned to you for your... Yeah, I'm going to have work. like usually like six to eight clients. When is your interview, by the way? Um, I, I have one on Friday. And I would expect to be separate. I keep oh. playing with one of them right now. Which one is that? Your number one choice? No, my number one choice isn't available anymore. No, I mean your new number one. I don't know. I don't know. My, those two weren't really number one, number two. They were just kind of like there. I don't know. We'll see when Well, I number go. two choice is still there, isn't it? Number two and three choice is still there. For, for the t oh, not the table? The table you got? Mm -hmm. The table's black. The table's black. And the dresser's not going to stay white. Definitely. Definitely. No, we don't want a white dresser. What do you want, sweetie? You don't know? I was looking at the colors. Is it for your bedroom? Is that Lucas. Uh, what kind of a drink is that? Yogurt. Oh, it's yogurt. a new, new bottle, huh? It's a yogurt drink. Really I have no minutes left on here, so just bear with me. This thing will be out I'm momentarily. Yeah, we'll get over there with them. I'll get you yeah, both. Pick your color yeah, pick your color already, will you? Do you want color? What color do you want, kids? It's like baby blue, huh? Powder blue? How much did you pay for the dresser yesterday? Fifty bucks. And where did you get it? It's an antique show thing. Lakewood. Lakewood Antique Show. Good deal. That's a long minute here. Shave. There's, there's only a few seconds left on this <coughs> tape, but it just keeps rolling and rolling. 
it's at less than a minute, it's at zero minutes and it's still going, so we'll see. Jennifer's doing her recording of her, do you call that person a client or what is the person yeah, that you, client. your client? And who is the, who is the uh, next interview with, what's the name of the company, the firm? Centerpoint. Centerpoint, <laughs> and they're in Gainesville? Yes. And that's tomorrow? Friday. Friday. Okay. You got your furniture thought out where it's going to go? Not completely. But it's all going to fit? Maybe. Is this, is this place bigger or smaller than Charleston? About the same size. So it should all fit, unless you bought more stuff. More dining room stuff, anyway, huh? Yeah. Well, it's definitely all done.